Stand by shore party. Decontamination in progress. Decontamination in progress. Decontamination in progress. I don't know why I'm doing this with the camera. <sighs> Decontamination in progress. Decontamination in progress. Decontamination in progress. I heard you the first however many times. Thank you. Right. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. I was about to say poor Presley, but that's pretty much his job as the Exo. Is to be in meetings, which he's not in, because he's not one of the one of our uh, companion characters, and to be relieved and to take over when I'm uh, off the ship. I mean, no, that's basically the job of the Exo. To argue with the CO, who's the player character and therefore always right. Um, and um, and uh, to have a job that is completely meaningless because it's not being done by the player character or any of the player character's companions. So, I kind of feel bad for him. So, we've got Maroon C, Armstrong, or Voyager. Um, so, we'll see which one's closer. We'll kind of work along them. So it was Maroon Sea, which I think is up here somewhere. Oh no, where is it? Maroon Sea. So I think these. Oh, that one. I think these are compar have a comparable distance because you've got to jump to Ferros and then jump to the next one. Well, that's later. Or we can jump to the Voyage Cluster. Uh, so I think we'll jump there. And I think it was the Amazon system, otherwise known as the only system here. That was easy. Didn't even have to jump out and have a look. I should have quicksaved, because sometimes the Citadel doesn't like me flying away. Oops. Keep going, keep going, thank you. Um, is this going to be an espionage probe that was something like an assassination drone or something? Um, yeah, that that's quite a delay. Uh, straightforward enough. Yeah, that's quite a delay. I don't want to say, oh yeah, that, well, that's simple. Why are you bringing that up? That's quite a delay. Where's it been in the meantime? No idea. Lost in transit. These probes were built in a hurry after first contact. Okay, um... Straightforward enough. Oh, shouldn't matter then. The war is over. What difference does it make? When these probes were launched, we didn't have any idea who we were fighting. We didn't want to risk aliens examining our technology. The probe has a demo nuke built in. Oh no. Tactical fusion warhead. About equal to the bomb dropped on Hiroshima back in the 20th. If somebody finds that probe, tampers with it. You don't need me to finish, Commander. Yep, that sounds bad. I understand this must be handled, but I don't have anyone trained to deal with this sort of thing, sir. I know. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. These probes have been classified for 26 years. The Council will call fusion bomb booby traps dangerous and irresponsible. The Alliance would face censure if they find this probe. I'm asking you because the Normandy can get on site quickly and quietly. It's in the Voyager cluster. Uh, should it really be over here? 
It's in the Voyager cluster. That's the opposite side of the Alliance from Turian space. How did it get there? I don't know. It's possible someone recovered it safely and brought it there. Ah. Uh -huh. It's also possible it got very badly lost. It could have been wandering the relay network. It could be the being weaponized. weaponized. We'll handle it. We'll get on it immediately, Admiral. And we'll be discreet. I appreciate that, Commander. Good luck. Fifth fleet out. Right. Alright, so we've got Trimar, Sibin, Sonedma, Donisha, Agabinium. I'm guessing it's on one of these planets then. Trimar! Standard hydrogen healing gas ion with traces of methane and nitrogen in the upper atmosphere. Survey! We found nitrogen! Okay. I'm gonna do my normal thing, we'll just go through all the planets. Small rock and ice planet. Sibin has an extremely thin or well, maybe Sibin. Sibin has an extremely thin atmosphere of hydrogen sulfide and ethane. Its frozen surface is mainly composed of magnesium and silicates with deposits of iron. Sibin's crust contains significant deposits of green serpentine, a mineral formed by volcanic activity. This suggests Sibin was a more geologically active world in the distant past. Ooh. Turian insignia recovered. While scanning the planet Sibin, you discovered a large mine grid in geosynchronous orbit. With a large mine grid. Mm. With help from Navigator Presley, your recon team recovered a small unmanned probe marked with the Quadim Outpost insignia. I should see how many of those I've actually got. That might be an interesting thing. Sonedma. I'm guessing this is where we're going to land, just based on distance. Nope. Sonedma is the second of the Amazon system's arid superterrestrial worlds. It is consider considerably less dense than its neighbour, uh, Dernusa, Dun and has an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and ethane. Its frozen surface is mainly composed of iron laced silicates with deposits of sulfur. Survey. Relevant, we found some polonium. Dernusa. This is this where we're landing then? Nope. Dernusa is an enormous terrestrial world nearly twice the size of Earth. Its environment is similar to that of Mars, arid, and a mix of craggy basalt highlands and sun-scoured deserts of iron-laced silicate dust. Dernusa's atmosphere mainly consists of carbon dioxide and argon, but the planet's mass is great enough that measurable amounts of helium and even molecular hydrogen remain trapped in its atmosphere. The planet's gravity well is deep enough that it has collected near nearly a dozen small satellites, mostly captured asteroids. Its surface is scarred by many large impact craters, marking the final resting place of other captured asteroids. Okay. Agabinium. This must be where we're landing then. Or maybe we're just finding it by surveying. It's a small terrestrial world with an extremely thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and krypton. Though the world has sufficient mass to maintain a much thicker atmosphere, much of it has been blasted away. The red giant Amazon is a long period variable star, currently at the nadir of a 16 year cycle. At peak, its energy output doubles, lashing agabinium with intense heat and radiation. The crust is mainly composed of aluminium with deposits of tin. Much of the surface is coated with fine silicate dust, which easily penetrates the smallest cracks to foul the machinery. That doesn't sound good to be landing the Mako on. Right, so we need some, we need people who are good with tech. Um, Caden and Tally, I think. Or do I want to take Garrus instead of Caden? I think I want to bring a human along. Or do I want to? No, I'll bring Garrus. Actually, I will bring Garrus, and we'll be very we'll completely ignore biotics. I think that makes sense. I don't know if it made sense. <laughs> All right, we save. All right, let's get up here. Ooh, there's a thing over there. Lights, homing beacon, debris, and anomaly. So we want to go there. But there's, there's some mineral thing up here which we'll grab. The 
Mako is traveling vertically. It passes its scale shield's sheer surface test. What does that climb? Scale sh I think sc is scale sheer surface a skill from a different RPG and I'm getting confused. I don't know climbs in D&D. &D. Scale sheer surface might actually be um, Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay. Um, I can't remember. I haven't played Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay in a while. Or D&D &D in a while, come to think of it. But when I played it, it was second ed, and I, and I think climbing was a uh, climbing was um, the purely the prerogative of thieves. Parked on level terrain, right? En route. Okay, there we go. It's en route from the French. Uh, you've successfully surveyed. Deposit of Samaria. 